One of the most common questions in the world of Wi-Fi is, why is my Wi-Fi so slow? This video series is for anyone who runs a Wi-Fi network, whether at home or in the office, to really help troubleshoot this question to its fullest extent. This is part two of the video series. If you haven't already watched part one, I recommend doing that first from the MetaGeek YouTube channel. As always, be sure to subscribe to MetaGeek's channel so you can catch part three. In this video, I want to talk about the two different frequency bands that Wi-Fi operates in. There's the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band. All too often, the culprit of slow Wi-Fi is use of the 2.4 GHz band, which offers slower data rates and is often oversaturated with Wi-Fi and non-Wi-Fi devices like microwaves or baby monitors. There are only three non-overlapping channels available in the 2.4 GHz band, so it often gets crowded. Meanwhile, in the 5 GHz band, there are 24 channels that are non-overlapping, so there's a lot more room to breathe for Wi-Fi devices. Do you know which band you are using? To find this out, simply download the free version of Insider from our website at metageek.com. I will also provide the download link in the comments section below. Once downloaded, simply create an account and log into Insider. With Insider installed and open, find your wireless network's name or SSID and click on the binoculars icon to reach the network details. At this screen, you can find out which radio your laptop is associated to by the green chain link icon. Then take a look at the channel column next to it. If the radio that you're associated to is using a channel number between 1 and 13, then bad news, you're on the 2.4 GHz band. If the radio that you're associated to is using a channel number between 36 and 165, then that's great, you're using the 5 GHz band. While the free version of Insider can show you what frequency band your laptop is using, how do you know what frequency band your other devices are using, like iPhones, Chromebooks, or the Nest camera hanging in your garage? Since Insider isn't capable of being installed on these types of devices, there are a few more tools required to see what frequency band they are using. For this, you will need to subscribe to MetaGeek Plus from the Insider application itself, or from our website at my.metageek.com. Secondly, you will need to grab a compatible Wi-Fi adapter on this list from our website. I will be sure to provide a link to this list in the description of this video. We recommend the Edimax AC1750 because it's small and powerful and only costs around 30 to 40 bucks. Once you have these two things, plug the adapter into your computer and open Insider. Once open, you should now see clients under the clients column. This tells you how many Wi-Fi devices are currently on the network. Find your wireless network's name or SSID and dive into the network details by clicking the binoculars icon. Keep an eye on the clients column and see how many clients are on each radio on your network. If you see clients on your 2.4 GHz radio, which again will be using channels 1 through 13, click the binoculars icon again to see the client details. This will display all the clients currently using the 2.4 GHz radio on your network. If the problematic device is listed here, Try turning the Wi-Fi on that device off and on again to ensure it's choosing the optimal band. If that doesn't help, try moving the client device and router closer to each other. If your device is still stuck to the 2.4 GHz band, see if you can log into your router configuration utility and disable the 2.4 GHz radio entirely, forcing all traffic to the 5 GHz band. If you have old or cheaper devices that aren't capable of using the 5 GHz band, then you can try giving each band its own SSID name in order to segment clients. This will also ensure that 5 GHz clients don't steer down to the 2.4 GHz band. For example, name your 2.4 GHz network My Wi-Fi and name your 5 GHz network My Wi-Fi 5G. Then associate your problematic device to the 5 GHz network. Now it won't connect to the 2.4 GHz network, ensuring the fastest possible Wi-Fi speeds. That's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe below for part three of this video series in which we'll talk about client and router capabilities. You can find out more at metageek.com.